I think I was five years old the first time that I physically saw a spirit. That terrified me. I didn't understand it. I knew that it wasn't, something wasn't right, something was off, um, but I didn't understand I was five. I think the biggest part of that journey was coming to terms with who I am and what I do. Being called weird, I had a very hard time with that for a very long time. But a friend of mine, um, her name is Allie, and she's like a wordsmith, was like, do you even know what weird means? And I was like, well, I thought it was like, you're freakish, you know, you're weird. Like, there's all these connotations, like, with it. And when I actually looked it up, it means uh, fantastic and supernatural. Uh, call me that any day. I am, I am a risk taker. And that felt so good to say, and I felt so empowered. But like, whenever I aligned myself with it, every time I go into a reading, I'm taking a risk. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea. Nothing could come through, and that is an actual thing. So there's like this terrifying aspect. Every time I do a reading, every time I go, um, into a meeting with somebody, I'm literally jumping off a cliff. Do not listen to that fear. Fear is gonna take you somewhere else that you don't wanna be. You must always be aligning yourself with joy and your highest good. And that's what I took with me. I think it's that relief that I see on people's face. I think that's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me passionate and keeps me feeling good about what I do, you know?